Mr. President, the Jerusalem Institute of Justice wishes to express its concern regarding the latest report of the UN Special Rapporteur on the Right to Education. The current report exhibits a pronounced anti-Israel bias and a discriminatory approach against the Jewish people. It is full of distortions that fuel hatred and confrontation. Firstly, the report mistakenly legitimizes violent pro-Palestinian rallies at universities worldwide while ignoring the anti-Semitic incidents that have escalated since October 7. It wrongly categorizes efforts to control such actions as a threat to academic freedom. A balanced approach would note that 63% of Jewish students feel less safe due to these protests. The display of Hamas flags and violent acts by demonstrators clearly show that endorsing terrorism under the guise of academic freedom is unacceptable. Secondly, the report criticizes the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance definition of anti-Semitism with the false claim that this definition brings confusion to combating anti-Semitism. The widespread adoption of the IRA framework by nearly 40 countries and over a thousand entities globally underscores a growing consensus on its utility. In contrast, the genuine confusion in combating anti-Semitism arises from those who deny the October 7th massacres and those who dismiss Hamas terror activities which only exacerbates the global rise in anti-Semitism and pose real threats to academic freedom. Moreover, the report completely overlooks the indoctrination against Israel and Jews in educational material provided by UNRWA. This omission is notable as UNRWA's curricula not only fail to promote peace but actively incite violence and hatred. We can't achieve academic freedom if we don't fight against hateful education, whether it is in the academic curricula or in allowing violent anti-Semitic study environments. Thank you.